All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode one of the brand new season of Eric the Slayer's Adventures into Sky. So let's let's wake him up here, right? We'll get him up. He was he was knocked out asleep in the bush here. It's now around 8 p.m. at night. His health is really low. The uh, his stamina and magic are high because I don't know how to reset those attributes and get them down low to start. Let's uh, let's let's do a quick check here on how we're doing. We're cold. We're ravenously hungry. We're dehydrated. We're low on health. So we were knocked out the entire day, right? Our horse is dead, and that is definitely not good. Luckily, the giants seem to be leaving us alone. And we need to go and try and find John the Righteous. Last time we saw him, he was down over here. Luckily, we uh, we were taught pretty much all of the the magic spells that what is it that um John learned. We learned a few ourselves, but still, we're already very low on magicka, so we're gonna see. We can't run down here and find him because we didn't have anything on our horse, right? And there he is on the rock. But wait, but wait, something is happening. Because it appears that although John has died, we are absorbing his power. And it turns out that Eric the Slayer was actually Dragonborn too. Here he is. Here, hold on. Let's uh, grab some torches. A lantern. All right, get our lantern up. So here he is. John the Righteous is dead. So we're gonna have to take all of his stuff, right? We'll we'll take as much as we can carry. I suppose we'll grab this the silver great sword, right? Let's see, we we don't, we definitely have to grab, um, let's see, where, where is it, right? The Master Clavicus Vial, right? Have to grab that. There, uh, let's definitely uh, grab some healing potions here. Take one of these right now. So that'll get us back up here. Um, we'll grab all the gems. All the gold, right? 23,000 gold. It's nice that he had that. Um, I guess we'll just grab all these, right, to clear the slot. Good lord, he really was a janitor. But we'll grab all the keys. <laughs> um, these aren't too heavy either, right? He had a bunch of food. <sighs> it's gonna be tough. We're gonna, we're just, basically, we're gonna have to come back for a, uh, a second trip to pick up all the different potions and everything. It's uh, it's gonna be the only way to do it. Um, especially because we already have so much, like on the horse that we still have to pick up. But uh, yeah, it was too bad, too bad losing John the Righteous. But Eric survived. He barely survived, right? So we'll have to we'll have to figure out what to do next. Let's see, we still have on all of our stuff. We just grabbed a couple of these. Uh, let's showcase the character really quickly, right? So we are, there we go. Can we remove our helmet here? There we are. We are Eric the Slayer. Uh, I managed to get his hair as, as close as I possibly could. Um, he has, oh my goodness. Uh, oh, right. I. Undid all the uh, the hotkeys, so we're gonna have to redo a couple of those, right? Where is Dawnbreaker? Here we go. So we are now primarily a one-handed one-handed character using Dawnbreaker. God, look at that thing shine, man. We uh, could use another potion. And as that's going, we'll go up to our skills. You can see that we are level 40. Uh, ignore ignore that, I haven't changed the name yet. That's just kind of a, a weird limitation, but 
we will once once we get back into town i'll be able to adjust the name so we no longer have our two-handed at level 90 we are now one-handed level 90. our block is now up to level 75 and we have all of the perks so this i i had believed that um definitely by now eric the slayer would be an expert in block both of them got their training in heavy armor up to level 90 so we pretty much kept that we nerfed down um, our smithing, so we're no longer smithing level 100. We're no longer 75 enchanting because, and, and although Eric the Slayer helped out a little bit in those, it was really John that like maxed out his, his level. He was level 47, and that's you know where he had his extra XP. Um, most of our magic is nerfed. I, I think Restoration with uh, John the Righteous was level 50. I think Eric still does, you know, healing and some basic magic, so he's around level 30. Alchemy's been nerfed. Speech, I'm really heartbroken about our speech being reduced. Our speech used to be level, like, 95. It was ridiculous. Um, lock picking also is no longer, like, level 80. That's now level 20 because John was the one who did all the lock picking. So sneak and evasion are about the same. Uh, Marksman is about the same. Nerf, nerfed meaning um, significantly reduced. Reduced to the point where it's no longer effective, basically. So, we'll continue healing. Let's um, grab what we can here. I guess the cloak. And we'll grab as many potions as we can carry. And it looks like this is pretty much going to be it. And there it is. That's as much as we can carry with uh, an extra weight of one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and make our way back into town. We aren't really expecting all that much. It seems like, um, I mean, luckily when John died, he died up here on the cliff. And so it was kind of difficult to see his body. But now we continue back into town. We're going to grab a horse. We'll, we'll pick up some of the items that we got here. We'll take one more potion. And uh, we'll see if we can't get John buried because he is the harbinger. So we'll we'll have to inform the other uh, the other companions that they've lost two harbingers within a very short amount of time. That is rough. All right, and we're back, and it is now one month later. And we have here Eric sitting at home. Resting by the fire. He has since given up his fighting, right? He's thrown his weapons into a corner. Armor and weapons. He spends most of his time up in his room, which is, you know, just a little dis disheveled. He, um... Let's see. So after, after that day where um, John and Eric were defeated, the companions went and selected a new leader. They went with uh, Ayla as their leader. They gave John the Righteous a proper burial up at the, um, oh my goodness, I, I completely forgot the, the name of it, the forge there, the Sky Forge. And uh, Eric is completely heartbroken by it, right? He agreed to never fight again, so he just spends all his time in his pajamas now. Doesn't put on his armor, doesn't touch his weapons. During the past 30 days, there has been a lot of news from the Dawn Guard, who is continuing, where is it, to try and figure out what is in Dim Hollow Crypt, but every time they send somebody there, they never hear back. Now, Eric the Slayer has an incredibly powerful weapon for killing vampires. And the Dawn Guard know that. They know that Eric has Dawn Slayer. But he refuses to use it. And so, in the most recent letter, urgently requesting that he help, that he do something in John's name, he has decided to pick up his equipment one more time the Shield of Isgamore and Dawnbreaker and help them out, just so they'll stop harassing him. One more quest. 
So Eric's gonna throw on his gear and make his way up north to figure out what the heck those vampires are seeking that are causing so many young adventurers to head to their deaths. So let's <laughs> let's clean up the, the room here a little bit and get ready for some combat. All right, so I believe that we should be arriving very soon. Yes, I think so. Yeah, it should be right around the corner, right? I honestly don't know. Oh, here, here it is. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, look, there's even a fire lit. That's suspicious. So we'll take a venison stew, beef stew, one of these to increase our magic resistance. We'll also go for an engraved bone of her scene. Right, we might be a little depressed, but we're not crazy. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna beat the crap out of whatever's going on. No, we'll go from there. We decided to go alone. Wow, this thing's powerful. Easy. Larg. What else do I hear? Piece of cake, man. Seriously. Really no match. Like butter. Some nice vampire dust. Oh my goodness. Um, we'll have to come back for all of their stuff, right? Hmm. We'll take some of these though. But all of their stuff is very valuable. Let's see. Huh. Magicka regen. That's pretty good. Decent weight to value ratio, but I think we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful about all the stuff that we carry with us. More plate. Dogs that don't really have anything. Okay, that's good to know that the dogs don't carry anything. I don't want to go through here too much just because... We have, we have, you know, more adventuring to do. Uh, okay, how do we open this, though? <laughs> I can figure this out. I swear I can figure this out. Or is that the way out? Like the, uh... The roundabout loop. That's probably what it is. You'll all have to be patient with me. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Surprisingly good weight-to-value ratio. What is it, aversion? Undead? Oh, I see. Undead flea. That should be that gate, I hope. I hope. We need to get our uh, lockpicking back up, unfortunately. We're only level 20 now. Bom, bom, bom. So we'll have to pick up as many locks as we can get. Wow. That was totally worth it. Um, I don't want to jump too far down there. That could be bad. Mm. 
Nice. Also, I'm glad I went and recharged this earlier. You actually have to recharge Dawnbreaker. I had no idea. I'm also not used to having a shield here blocking a considerable portion of my view. Who's there? Oh! Easy. Oh, that's right. We, uh... Technically, we're still a follower of RK. Who shot me? I can't see anything! I can't see anything. Here, we'll just pick this right now. They're about here, maybe? All of our lock picking skills lost. This is going to be where our training goes, seriously. Probably like a skeleton shooting me. Wow! That was a little OP. Little mushrooms. Anybody in here? Is this, a, is this could be a dead end, I'm not sure. Yep. There it is. Oh. Maybe we'll be able to go back to the uh, museum. No, 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 never mind. We're never going back there. I was going to say it's the museum in um, Markarth, but we're not going back to Markarth. This is the, the painfully the painfully fun excitement of having level 20 lockpicking. Again. Yay! Oh, we actually got some loot though, so that's not too bad. Soul, gems. Anything to break down? One of the things that we are keeping uh, between the two characters is all of the alchemy ingredients that we know, because those were basically just written down as notes. Was there anything else around here? No, no, it was, we, we were continuing forward. Watch out for traps. Just fighting. Oh. Oh, but I will have <laughs> Woo! Interesting. There we go. I was not expecting the uh them to be enemies. What's this? Just, that's it? Huh. Okay. Again, not what I was expecting, but okay. <laughs> it, it seemed like a whole lot of flair for not a lot of, uh, oomph. There we go. Oh, master. Master level. Okay. Now they're just screwing with me. Hmm. I'm probably gonna end up running by a lot of stuff too, so you'll just have to tolerate me not discovering all of the uh Don't fear.
Are we using... Yeah, we are using our lantern. It's just hard to tell. So many graves. I don't think we can go up there. Um... Let's see. Yeah, having more light would be helpful, but... Oh! Hello. Piece of Vampire dust. And... We'll take some spider venom. We'll probably use a little bit of that. Anything back over here? No. Take a little bit of a uh, healing potion, though. No, so it just loops around, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> right in the middle, maybe? No, so it's probably here. Like I said, I'm glad I have like a hundred lockpicks. That was probably a good investment. Hey, nice. One level down. 70 more to go. Oh, how do we... Oh, okay, I was like, did we just die? <laughs> no! Okay, we're probably gonna need a, uh, some sort of poison resist here. Uh, resist poison. How's our health? Whoa! All right, all right, uh, let's do probably a remarkable one. Holy cow. Oh my god, we're out of stamina too? Oh. oh! What the hell? Look at the stacking poisons! What was that? Deadly poison. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh crap, oh crap. It's uh it's still poisoning us. It's still poisoning us. Ugh. We need to cure poison. Cure cure poison. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who was that? Some random guy. Goodness. Where are we? <sighs> Dim Hollow Cavern, huh? All right. Well, that was pretty intense. We're going to make sure we get our health all the way back up, though. Uh, let's see. We're waiting for this one right here. All right. Woo. I'll never tell 
do anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found. What's that? Is someone there? Uh-oh. Crap. <laughs> so much for trying to be stealthy. Well, nobody ever accused me of being stealthy. Oh! No! Get what? What are you doing? Oh my God! He's level a hundred. Oh my goodness! Uh oh, I don't know if we're gonna survive this one. Oh! Oh my goodness, run! Run! Oh! Where is he? Vampires are tough, man. Why is he so strong? Uh, what do we have? What do we have? We don't have that much for like healing. I don't want to use one of my superlative potions. I don't know where to go. I've never been down here. I can't see anything. Oh. Oh my god, my stamina's out. No, 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 no. All right, at least I have uh more stamina now. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. oh my god. We're gonna have to use a superlative potion because I have no idea what the heck I got myself into here. Where is he? What? Oh my god, he's using a bow? No! Uh-oh, that's gonna be a power attack. Ha-ha! No! Ah! Okay, okay. This is fine. We're fine. I'm gonna burn through all of my potions here. Whoa! <laughs> yep. Yep. That was it. So there, there it is. I guess the, uh... <laughs> I really didn't know what I was getting myself into there with Requiem. Well, that's too bad. So now we know you you fight level 100 vampires when you go in. Yeah, I guess I'll have to start a new fresh character. I I I, I tried, right? I had never tried doing um Dawn Guard on Requiem, so there we go. I I think we're just gonna end up kind of patching this into like season well I, I don't know if it's gonna be season two like addendum right at the very end I think the worst part is how much time I spent trying to figure out how to get this character to work because the like the 
kind of the the setup, right, to become Dragonborn and absorb um, John the Righteous's power. That is rough. That is very rough. Well, <laughs> well, at least we got one more episode out of it, right? Also, I know how to do uh, character resets and stuff. Poor Eric. I guess I should have used another superlative potion, huh? That, uh, man, that, but that first, um, vampire, right before we went in, a big part of it is, I don't, like, I'm not familiar with that room, by the way. Like, freeing Serana, I've, that, that was the second time I've been in that room, for real, so. <sighs> Alright, well, I guess, I guess that'll be it then, we're gonna have to, we, we made it the Three saves. We didn't even make it like our first actual real save with the character. <laughs> well, that's okay. We we still got a little bit of excitement out of it, right? Oh well. But uh, then I guess we'll uh, the the good news is that we'll be continuing tomorrow, right? We're gonna continue tomorrow and we'll start the new character. So. All right, thank you. Thank you all so much for hanging out with we. That's, we're gonna call it that. That's gonna be our, st our stream for the night. That's our character, that's it. <laughs> that's too bad. Oh well, have a good night, everyone. <laughs>